Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to take a look at a paper from the latest edition of ACMQ that takes a look at how they deployed static analysis at a very large scale at GitHub. If you've used GitHub, you'll be familiar with this functionality and that is the ability to navigate quickly to the definition of a symbol as well as all usages of that symbol. So it's a fairly straightforward static analysis, but what makes this special is its application to such a large scale. The system at GitHub supports nine popular languages across six million repositories. And the authors in this paper are trying to describe the design goals as well as the engineering challenges that they had to overcome to reach that level of scaling. Before we get into the details of the system, let's look at their key design goals. The first design goal and probably the most important one is zero configuration. The user should not have to configure anything or set up anything to get this functionality. They should be able to just browse to a repository and get this usage and definition functionality. The second goal, and this becomes important at the scale they're operating at, is to only do incremental work for each commit as opposed to reanalyzing the entire project every time. And their third big design goal is for the system to be language agnostic. And what they mean by this is that they want their backend processing to be structured in a way that makes it easy to add new languages to analyze and is somewhat independent of the specific languages being analyzed. This rules out, for example, specific tools for specific languages because that would mean running a different stack for each language. So for example, you could run a .NET stack for the C-sharp language analysis tool and then a Python 2 or a Python 3 stack for the Python language analysis tool. And they wanted to avoid that. And that design objective brings us to one of their key implementation choices, which is to use TreeSitter as their parsing engine for source code. So what is TreeSitter? TreeSitter is a framework that lets you specify the grammar of a language and then generates a parser for that grammar. The important thing here is that the generated parser is a standalone dependency-free C program. The output of that parser is, of course, a syntax tree of the source code that is fed to it. And then on top of it, TreeSitter provides a Lisp like DSL to query that abstract syntax tree and extract information from it. Of course, this means that you have to specify the grammars of the languages you're parsing, but TreeSitter already has a number of popular languages with grammars already. And this really simplifies their operational structure. This gets them away from having to maintain different language stacks for very language specific tooling and taking care of the entire dependency stack that that would need. So here's a very simple example that illustrates TreeSitter's output. If you take this tiny snippet of Ruby code, the TreeSitter output for that is this S expression. And it also uses this S expression like query syntax in order to extract the parts of the tree that you care about. In this case, we want to extract the name of the method being defined here. The system is made up of three main components. You have the indexer, which consumes messages for each git push and then orchestrates all the downstream activities like parsing and tagging and saving the results. The tagger is the service that does all the heavy lifting for consuming the raw source code, parsing and tagging it and saving the results. And finally, you have a query service, which is responsible for serving up all this information to the GitHub website. If you're interested, I'd encourage you to look at the full paper, which describes a lot of their scaling challenges, such as going from a single MySQL instance that became too large and unmanageable to a sharded MySQL setup. They wrap up the paper with some stats about their system. 
They index more than a thousand pushes per minute with a 99th percentile indexing time of about a minute for an incremental index that is only about 10 seconds. On the serving side, they serve about 30,000 requests per minute for symbol lookups with 99th percentile latencies of 90 milliseconds, which is pretty impressive. They currently support nine languages, which include most major popular languages like C Sharp, Go, Java, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, TypeScript, even PHP. So that was a quick look at how GitHub has deployed a simple use definition static analysis at very large scale. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.